Hello React Native Developers, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. In the last session, we've built the nice swipe animation. And here in this session, I would like us to finish the outfit uh, IDs screen by doing the categories here, which are an horizontal scroll. And then I would like us to look at the uh, masonry of the favorite outfits screen, and especially selecting and deleting item because I think here there is maybe a nice animation we can build by removing the items and using React Native Reanimated for the layout transition. I hope that sounds good. Let's have a look. So we are back into the code here and I have like the swipe animation. And um, I think I'm gonna create the categories component. I think this, it definitely should be where categories, where it should be, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. So let's create it quickly. And uh, so create categories component. And so I should copy this data here. I need the color and the... Actually, maybe I can do copy as SVG. Let's see. Maybe it's going to be way too big uh, for me to get the labels and colors. So I definitely have the colors. Where are the labels? For instance, if I search for summer. Huh, what? not working anyways. So let's do the categories. So we'd have, for instance, an ID, new in, a title. And a color. Which would be this one here. All right, so we have here an horizontal scroll view. So this one is horizontal. And we can map over the categories. And have a category component key is category ID. Scroll view from React Native. And we can create the category component. So we have category and we have a color 
and a title as a string and an ID also as a string. Okay. Category, color, title. And we need to define a size. So here we have 60. Um, so we have two elements. First, the title. So text we import from our components. Perfect. And then I guess, I mean, here I guess we can use view. We have width is size, height is size, border radius is size divided by two, and background color. So color we can rename to background color. Um, okay. Interesting, so we need a container. That actually makes sense that we would have this uh, because we have an horizontal scroll view. Um, so let me create a style. Or sh let me go back to using box. And here would be text align center, margin left medium. Okay. Um, and align items center. Okay, here we can add also margin top small um, here also margin top small it doesn't seem to be uh, scrollable I'm wondering if it's because we have an overlay So are the, are the cards overlaying? Here we have an absolute fill. Yeah, so the cards overlay everything. So should I do something like this maybe? So now it's scrollable. This one is to, uh, what did I do? Is the scroll view here taking so if I do style, background color, just to debug it quickly. I assume here the problem is, yes, so the scroll view is a bit too big. Should I do a flex shrink of one? Uh, what about wrapping it into a view? That's better. We still have a big, um, let me check. I mean, it's not that bad. Let's look at the container. So 
So that's good. No, I guess. I guess that's how it should be. Perfect. Okay, so now we can scroll around. That's perfect. And if we go back to the design, here we have like a nice border. Uh, I'm thinking. And maybe it's if the category is selected or not. So here we should have a state to the category. Selected, set, selected, default is false. And so here we can tap. So should I use, let's see, I'm going to use a uh, rec, is that rect button? And if not, I will use borderless button. So when we press the button, we toggle the state. So on press, set, selected, and we toggle the previous value. Okay. Rect button comes from React Native Gesture Handler. And now, hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Margin. If I do borderless button, I'm always confused on what's the difference between the two. Yeah, much better. Much better. Now let's change the design if it's selected. How do we change the design? Mm. What I want to do... I'm not sure. Um, let me think. I would love, I would like here to have a I'm going to create a variable called padding, which is going to be the smaller circle. So the smaller circle is going to be size minus padding. So maybe four pixels, four points. And so what I would like to do is here we would have size minus padding, size minus padding here also. Or maybe it's easier if I call it small, no, inner, inner radius is, let's say, 30, outer radius would be for, uh, 34, then let's just try. So here, this one is inner radius. This one is inner radius times two. This one is inner radius times two. This box here is going to be of size of outer radius. So width is outer radius. Height outer radius. here. So I'm going to create a sub container. And no. Oh, times two, sorry. Okay. 
Now, here we need justify content, center, align items, center. Okay, looks good, I like it. And now if it's selected, we have an underlay with a background color, which is white, but a border, which is of color. So if selected, we have the outer radius circle. It's funny because we always have the same boilerplate for these circles. I'm wondering if we almost wouldn't need a, like a box component, but which would be a, a circle. Um, so here we have auto radius. No, not, what am I saying? Here we have auto radius. This one is a, since it's an underlay, it's absolute fill object. And background color white but maybe I don't need to specify it, but I'm gonna do border color is background color and border with one. Isn't that cool? Um, do you think I should almost... Like, is the opacity distracting? I mean... No, I guess. If you tap quickly, I feel like the opacity is distracting. Let me try here to replace it with touchable without feedback. Hmm. I don't know, let me know what you think. Here it's nice to have the feedback when we keep, but if we go quick, the animation looks a bit strange. Here we almost want, we would want to do a custom tap handler and only trigger the opacity change uh, if the gesture hasn't been released yet. So almost to have a delay in the... And here we probably want to remove the scrolling indicator. Show horizontal scroll indicator, false. I'm really um, bothered by the by the animation. Let me try, I mean, I'm losing my mind here. Let me try to see if I can build a tap handler that makes sense uh, quickly. Let me, okay. Sorry, because I pre-apologize because here I'm maybe falling into a rabbit hole. That is not so interesting, but 
let me save my work and try to do if we can do a custom tap handler so here i'm gonna have borderless tap And so we have some children. And the on press event. So here we are going to use the tap gesture and learn from React Native gesture handler children no we have we need an animated view we put the children so we have children on press uh, I have zero confidence that this is gonna work but we have the gesture handler from use tap gesture handler from redash and here we have also the state of the gesture which we're going to use animated oops we get from react native reanimated yes that's good use tap gesture handler from redash so uh, let's try so first, to have the same level of functionality, if the gesture state is at end, we execute on press. We call back to the JavaScript user land. So we can execute on press. So we're gonna check first, see if this works, and then try to match or to build a better animation. Up. So now we've matched, uh, or at least we have some basic uh, tap handler. Now, we'll have some opacity animation here. So we need to create an animation value for the opacity. Or can we... So we're going to need a clock because we want basically to trigger the opacity change only after a certain amount of time. So clock, we're going to create a clock, use clock. When the gesture starts, State equals state dot begin. We start the clock. When uh, we end the gesture, we stop the clock. So here, start clock. We're going to need to store when we started the clock. So here, stop clock. Use clock from redash. So here we can have start equals use value of zero. And so when we start the gesture, we set
probably after we start the clock. Start to clock. And opacity, we can infer now based on the clock value. So we're gonna have style, opacity, use value from redash. And now we have opacity equals um, so it's a condition. So it's let's say either one or zero five. I guess it's zero five and we'll see. Um, if clock is so greater than clock is greater than start plus 300 milliseconds. And probably we'll do less than, much less than 300. Uh, greater than start. And state begin. Or clock running. So we add and the clock is running. So that's not working. Clock is greater. Mm, I know because this one is executed for many frames. So if state began and clock is not running. That works, it's just too slow. And also here, So it's a bit too slow, maybe I do 100, but also it looked like it got stuck at some point. So this is nice. And you see, I went fast. This is good. I went fast. If you go fast, nothing happens, which I think is what you want. And if you press, you see something happening. Isn't that cool? Um, Yeah, I think you see here it can get stuck sometimes in this state and I'm not sure why we should stop the clock before. Or maybe If the state ends and here we stop the clock, you know, in case we have failed or canceled and maybe that's what happened. We had the state canceled. So state is not equal state began. We stop the clock just to make sure we never get stopped. I think it's cool. And uh, so you see, I guess. No. So if. So yeah, I'm going to. I cancel the gesture.
but let me um, let me try to debug this quickly. to display one and to uh, I want to debug the state of the gesture and maybe if the clock is running maybe also opacity and clock running I knew I was get, getting into a crazy rabbit hole. Okay. Okay. And here, so we had state two, which I assume is began. And then we go to state one. And so state one and the clock is still running. So this instruction doesn't seem to be executed somehow. So let me just also here add a debug. So the clock does stop. Okay. So opacity if the, so this should be 0 0.5 only if the clock is running. It might be a problem actually with the evaluation of the node. Could it be? So opacity now becomes a value. And here, so it's zero five or one. So somehow, yeah, so opacity, the value was set only when it was evaluated. And so something didn't trigger the, its evaluation. So by setting the value for every frame seems, seems to have fixed the problem. I like it. I think it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, it was a bit of trouble, but also it's good like to see reanimated one uh, gestures and animations. Maybe we can remove it with the change it with the borderless button. But that was like a fun gesture to put. I'm going to put this one back. I think it's fun. So I guess I'm gonna take a small uh, break here. And so this took way longer than expected. And in the next part, we will do the masonry of the favorite outfit uh, screen and hopefully the deletion of the items with a nice transition. 
So I am really looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking. We just